all right friends welcome back now we are entering a new video series on javascript date and in this video series i'm going to talk about javascript date formats okay there are generally four types of javascript date for input formats number one is the iso date okay the international standard okay 2015 that year comes first and then it's the month and then it's the date then you have a short date which is 03-25-2015 or begins with the year 2015, month and date. Then you have a long date in which there are some strings associated for example March 25th 2015 or 25th March 2015. Then you have a full date Wednesday March 25th 2015. Now JavaScript output you can actually you know the whole idea of having so many methods and so many flexibilities available to you is so that you have more command and more control on your web page okay whatever if you are working as a web developer or a web designer or a content manager uh, in any form and you are dealing with you know creating javascripts and html and css code you would need to have a lot of you know uh, methods available at your disposal so that you are able to modify according to your employer's need or your client's need okay and the more command you have over your HTML or over your web page it shows it reflects how much knowledge you have and which is the which is the main reason why we have been using plenty of examples in this past videos using the, the JavaScript data uh, date date and now we are in JavaScript date formats okay and then up next in the next video we're going to do JavaScript date uh, methods so JavaScript date output is independent of input format JavaScript will by default output dates in full text or string format so this is the default we've seen this repeatedly uh, using the two string method or using the uh, uh, you know just the date with an empty argument brackets that method you are easily able to get by default a full string format okay the question is what kind of date output does your customer or your client or your employee needs do they need an ISO date, a short date, a long date, or a full date? Okay, in this example, you're going to talk about, uh, in this video series, we're going to talk about how you can change the format of your date. All right, let's continue. So, JavaScript ISO date, ISO date format, that's what we are working on right now. Uh, ISO date format okay in the ISO 801 8601 is the international standard for representation of dates and times you will encounter this many times uh, it's actually written like this ISO 8601 okay and the syntax looks something like this yy yy that is the year uh, for example 2016 m m for example september month is 09 and dd which is today is 28th okay is also the preferred javascript date format and in order to get this input you need to have these lines of code embedded inside your html document please type doc type html open up the html tag open up the body tag open up the paragraph tag and say id is equal to demo and close the paragraph tag and open up the script tag and say document dot get element by id demo 
okay dot inner html is equal to new date okay and you're going to write the format 2015 okay that's the date just an example of the date and close the script tag close the body tag and close the HTML tag great let's save this file as line and as HTML all right and let's find the file okay wednesday march 25th this is the standard time standard way of representing your date all right let's work on the next example okay before i go to the next example i want to tell you that you only gave javascript year month and date but it ended up showing to the last millisecond and it also ended up you know showing the gmt greenwich uh, the time and Arabian standard time so which which tells us that by default if you don't provide it the value it will still display the date and time as a default let me delete this code and what if you have what if you have only year and month to supply okay can you appreciate the kind of flexibility you have in coding with JavaScript? You have so many variations of doing a single thing to make small changes, but they have a big effect. Okay, HTML, open up the body tag. And open up the paragraph tag. ID is equal to demo and close the paragraph tag open up the script tag and say document dot get element by id demo dot inner html is equal to new date Okay, and supply the year 2015 dash that's the right format okay and the month all right super end of statement marker and close the script tag oops don't worry about these typos I always fix them before running and close the body tag and the last one is close the HTML tag. Let's save this file as example number 10. And you would see that by default, JavaScript will display which elements of the date. Dot HTML. Save. Let's find the file. Sunday, March 1st, 2015. Okay, notice how diff different it is. Even if you supply just two items, it would still get information from your browser and display the time. What if you supply only the year? What if? Okay, what if we do only year? What would happen? Check this out. I'm going to take away the month. Okay just have the year displayed the y y y y and save the file no need to change anything else and refresh okay so it's going to display by default thursday jan january 1 2015 all right let me tell you why 
okay the reason why it would automatically display jan and thursday and zero one without you telling it to do is because of the differences in the time zone it would calculate from the zero time which is back in 1970 and it would come up with a default value depending on your time zone even if you provide just the month uh, javascript would you know the time zones according to the time zone it could be gmt or if you're accessing this uh, program or, or the internet using the cdt time zone it will display there will be a variation between uh, march and december so just you know something that they have done with the browser so if with this if you just display the time the year it's going to display a date with the year and it's going to give you a standard time and a date all right with this i would like to end this video and up next we're going to talk about more javascript date format examples all right see you shortly